With only one day left to qualify for the season, I had dropped to zero LP. My last chance to enter the seasonal was the last chance gauntlet. I already had two wins from Prime Glory from earlier in the season, but I was going to need five wins, and to do it quickly as well, in order to qualify for the seasonal. Thus begins the epic journey. What's up everybody, welcome to another daily video. Today we have the Lissandra reveal, as well as the rest of the games in my gauntlet to qualify for the seasonal. If you like the video, drop a like. If you're brand new to the channel, subscribe and come say hi to me on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Peace. Freljord's got a new champion this time. Lissandra joins Legends of Runeterra. When Lissandra is summoned, she creates a Frozen Thrall. Frozen Thrall is Freljord's new countdown landmark, which after 8 rounds of countdown, summons an 8-8 Frostguard Thrall with Overwhelm. Lissandra levels up once you have summoned 2 8 cost units. When she levels, she creates a very special card in hand. The Watcher costs 17 mana, but it only costs 0 if you've played 4 8 drop units this game. When it attacks, it obliterates the enemy deck, causing their next draw to kill them. This is very similar to Maokai's win condition, but just a bit better. Leveled Lissandra is very strong. She makes your nexus tough. At round start, she creates a zero cost fleeting ice shard. An ice shard is usually a three mana spell that deals one to everything. Your nexus is protected, of course, because it is tough, as is Lissandra. Lissandra's champion spell is Entomb, which is very similar to Hourglass from Shurima. Obliterate a unit to summon a Frozen Tomb in its place. Frozen Tomb has a countdown of two to summon an exact copy of the obliterated unit. As per usual, this is also a card you can put in your main deck. You guys remember the Frozen Thrall that Lissandra created? Well, you can main deck that card too to get yourself even more Thralls. Now you might be thinking to yourself, a countdown of eight? That's gonna take forever. How is that of any use to me? Dark Lord Inquisitor is your answer. When I'm summoned, summon a Frozen Thrall. Round N. If the countdown of any of your Frozen Thralls is four or less, advance them to zero. This unit alone is why Thralls may be actually quite viable, so keep an eye out for them. Next, I introduce to you Better Avalanche. Blightened Ravine. When I'm summoned, heal your Nexus 4. Countdown of 1, deal 2 to everything. Now, while this does damage your own Nexus, it also damages your opponent's Nexus. Additionally, this is not a spell, and it is not a skill either, so you cannot deny this Avalanche. And while it has the same cost as Avalanche, it heals your Nexus 4 in addition. Watch out for this card, you'll probably see it a lot. As we mentioned earlier, we have a new spell, 3 drop, Ice Shard, deal 1 to everything. Expect to see this in Scarground decks. We have a new utility spell of 3 sisters. This card allows you to either summon a Flash Freeze, a Fury of the North, or an Entomb. For the cost of 1 mana, you get 3 options. Options are very valuable in Runeterra, so I expect to see this card a lot. And for the last card, we have Cold Resistance. Now. I personally do not think that this card is very strong, however, it may catch us by surprise. It's a burst spell that gives you an empty mana gem as well as an ally plus 2 health. Permanently, it's a grant. The only place I could see this played is in Lissandra decks where we're actually trying to keep her alive as opposed to just playing her for value. And that does it for today's new cards. Do you think the thralls are broken? Do they enthrall you? Let me know in the comments. Tomorrow we'll review Nasus and all of his very cool cards. Enjoy the rest of the video. Here's some Zinta Scouts. Not a fan. I feel like Scouts can be a really annoying to us. Here, the thing is we were curving out at about the same time. Now this harrowing will be really nice though. Maybe we can set up a really nice turn six harrowing potentially. Maybe. 
If we trade really aggressively, we can get a turn six harrowing. That'll be juicy. We have to trade hell aggressively, though. Ooh, Moonlight. Yep, yep. Feels good. I pull the string. Moonlight's huge here. You won't suffer long. Hopefully he plazas on three so we can get Callista down. That would be the, the best for us. I guess the punish there is Valor kills Callista, but even then I think we're still fine. He's going for the Misfortune Valor combo. Do we respect it or not? We've got a harrowing, so we don't respect it. Interesting. I did not expect him to do that. Uh, that tells me he has a uh, sharp sight. He wouldn't be doing this if he didn't have a sharp sight. Oh, uh, we could just trade a spider. I don't care. You dare! Honestly, at least his crawling sensation would be fine here, right? At least his crawling sensation just skitter her next turn. Actually, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. You'll serve me one way or another. Like this is like this is a pretty juicy attack, right? Double harrowing, hell yes. So the thing is, we already have a read on him having, um, like, pale or something, right? Like, this is a pretty good attack, too. The thing is, if he deals with Callista, then we have, then Elise gets fearsome. We, or Elise levels, that is. Okay, he's gonna go for Elise now. I know yeah. what I'm doing. What? It's fine. Especially with the harrowing in hand. Like we can trade off our, all of our units here and set up for the harrowing. I gotta show Especially you the with Quinn, yeah. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Hmm. It might be better to go for moonlight though. Let's see, if we play Callista, then we're summoning back two Callistas, a Frenzied, and an Elise. That should be a pretty good attack. I like it. We we shall shall because uh, he doesn't have any fearsome blockers then. You can develop one, right? But Still heart Weird. Stepping. That's not how I would have done it. Definitely not how I would have done it. Love ya. We'll trade the spiders. And we just don't hope he doesn't have rally at start a turn, right? Like, look at this juicy harrowing, boys. Look at it. It's pretty juicy. Pretty juicy, if I do say so myself. And we also get free Callista level off that. Very nice. That's lethal a lot of the time. Oh, that's lethal a lot of the time. Holy cow. That's lethal a lot of the time. Who will do not doubt? You'll go no farther. Yeah, that's that's game. I don't, think he can, I don't think he can deal with that. Unless I'm missing a card that I don't know he has. Yeah, there's the one sharp. You're easy to track. Yeah, that's still game. You've made your path. 
Guys, this is looking good. This is looking good. So young. That's another dub, boys. Oh man, I'm nervous. Oh. Hey, here we go, boys. Here we go. So this isn't a meme deck. No, it is. It's a, I don't know. It seems like a pretty meme deck. I don't really know what their plan is. It's a meme hand. That's what this is, though. Okay. Okay. We're all good, chat. We're all good. I am not nervous at all. I am not shaking in my bones. All in OTK, yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense to me. Weird, Valor, okay. The Moonlight. Yeah, this will help us win the matchup. Stop the overwhelm OTK. I don't really want to play Skitterer here. I don't think I have a choice because I'm not playing Doom Beast. We could have just held it, but I don't want to. I want to see if we can curve out into a harrowing again. You call this a fight? Hardly fair. Oh, that was dumb. I, I didn't really think that one through, did I? Did not really think that one through. We really need to get a dead Callista cycling. I write the rules of power. As soon as possible. Silly thing. Weird, okay. What's he up to? Ah, uh, whirling death, okay. Just making our harrowing better, bub. Just making our harrowing better. At least Doombeast here. Nah, at least uh, Arachnoid. All right, let's miss some fools up. Okay, let's see what's died. The question is, are we harrowing next turn or not? Probably not. It's not that good of a harrowing. Oh, uh, shoot. What should we do? Should we even block this? How many things have we killed? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I don't think the harrowing is worth next turn. Now you've gone and upset it. I think I think we'll slow down our harrowing. You are the It's kind of a more uh, later later is better kind of deal, right? Next turn we have six. Seven, eight. Yeah, no herring next turn. Yeah, he has to respect Pale here. Ooh, he does do the quick attack. Okay. Well, that's made our decision easier for us. I'll take it. I'll be over soon. Get rid of a quick attack for free. Awful hand. Shoot. <sighs> what 
what, what to do. I guess we just attack with at least get a spider, maybe. I think it's full swing. That'll close my eyes and make it fair. Yeah, that's fine. You have another whirling death, maybe? No, that's fine. Okay. So young. I'll happily take out a protege for free. Justice will ah, be served. Ah, the no fun card. Good thing we have moonlight affliction, right? Come closer. I don't bite. Got an atrocity and a moonlight should be good. Why is he running the no fun card, guys? Why? It's a real shame we don't have anything that can kill it. These hands know metal and magic. I don't know what to do here. I guess we just set up for harrowing next turn. Hopefully we can get a uh, skitterer killed for the harrowing next turn. For justice, run them through. Hardly fair. Like, I'll let him heal for three, it should be fine, right? I would like him to attack with more, but yeah, you, know, you can't get everything you wish for, right? All right. I'll trust you guys. You're right, if we do get the skitter, that would be juicy, right? Do I already have one in the dead? I don't think I do. Do I? Oh, I do, you're right. You are correct. No, no, you, I, you got, I forgot about the one that I already, that was already dead. I had forgotten. The more we learn, the less we fear. The thing is, having two dead might have been fine for Radiant Guardian kill, though, right? Let's check this harrowing, see what it looks like. I mean, that's pretty attractive, though, right? We can't really pass that up. Oh, it's the the mystery of this whipping. I guess we preemptively kill this frenzied then, right? To draw. Right? Yeah, that's really good. Because this way we get our mystery too. Sets us up for a, an atrocity win. What I was afraid of was a judgment off the Radiant Guardian, but this prevents us for him from doing that. So we're not attacking with things he can block with the Radiant Guardian for fear of a judgment. Unless he taps under judgment, of course. If he doesn't tap under judgment, we're definitely not swinging with Wraith Collar and a Doom Beast. Because that's a giant tell. If he develops, we can swing with everything, though. Who does not know the name, Laura? Oh, yeah, we can swing with everything now. No point. Yeah, but they're uh, but they're ephemeral, so we might as well kill them. They'll let him heal, but he might still be able to heal anyway. He can, yeah, he can single. Like, there's a lot of things he can do. Let's put him at the end. Because this way, if he heals with a block, this will not take. Like, he if he has a buff or a single or any of that crap, you know. This, this respects all of that. Okay, he does have the sharp sight, yeah. I will end this here. A real shame we're not killing Plaza Guardian here, but it's fine. A royal shame. We're one off of Atrocity here. I guess we misrate Atrocity. The punish is single or concerted. 
this will not take long. I suppose we just wait then. Like we're no, we're in no, we're in no pressure, right? We're just gonna play out mystery next turn and call it a day. What's a warrior but hunting the weapon? The heart. He's only got one. He's only got two real cards. Cards. So that's good. Hopefully, he can miss a ton of them. from this land Aha. the problem is what if he atrocity into doom beast we can't do that because radiant guardian heals um yeah we have to hush the problem is if he has any buffs then he wins if he has any sizable buffs he wins You would have used them to block last turn. Yeah, that's true. You guys are right. I'm just scared. What should we hush besides um, Radiant Guardian? Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay, good. I was scared there. Uh, the punish here is if he... Okay, okay. Yeah, he doesn't have an overwhelm unit. Because he might have the, uh... The new... The new overwhelm card. So, like, he could... He could... Overwhelm... Like, give... Wild Claws... Like, are we scared of that? Should we respect that? I don't want to. He might have Rally. I don't know. Pass. Yeah, Banking Man is nice. If he has a Rally, we lose. Dragon, such fascinating creatures. He only has two... He only has two real cards. I think we can play it now, right? One, one real card, yeah. He has one real card, but if that, if that, if that one real card is Wild Claw and he has Overwhelm, he wins. Because he got Riven, Riven buff. Not in a rush. Okay, yeah, you guys are right. I'm just scared. Okay, we can develop now. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Doom Beast, Doom Beast is best. Monty, it matters to me because my heart is dying right now. Oh, I forgot. Stupid single with Radiant. Shoot, what do we do now? I don't want to send it. I'm scared. I'm scared. If he has it, he has it. Here goes, chat. Develop's not doing us anything. Yeah, that would have been fine, monkey. 